Hello world, is this, uh, is this thing on? Yeah. yeah. Oh good. Hi. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the eighth edition of uh, FOSDEM. And uh, yeah, well, as you see, we are still here. Uh, I'd like to say a couple of words about the Pink Elephant event yesterday. Uh, some of you might recognize this little street here with uh, a couple of bars. Or maybe not because there were about 400 geeks crowding. Are there any survivors? <laughs> any? Oh, amazing, amazing. Um, yeah, that's good. I think this year's beer event was uh, a success compared to last year's disaster. I have a number of uh, statistics for you. Uh, there were more than 400 geeks. I was handing out these, uh, these pointers and I ran out. So there were more than 400 of you. Uh, the total bill was well over 5,000 euro. I think it was actually over 8,000, but I lost count somewhere along the way. Uh, I gave up uh, at midnight and when I got home I started counting what I had left in my pockets and I found 1,600 euro. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you for these uh, contributions. They will uh, contribute to the next edition of FOSDEM. And then there's uh, another little thing. If you see this guy, uh, he started this uh, fantastic little event and he decided to go and do something different, like organize another conference. Um, we would like to invite him to our little FOSDEM dance for old time's sake. Ruff, <laughs> don't run away. Uh, if you see him walking around here, return him to the info stand so we can try to give him a, a staff t-shirt and uh, put him back to work because, you know. <laughs> Other conferences, FOSDEM is the only conference, of course. Uh, now I will hand over my lovely microphone to Pascal, who has a lot of practical information as opposed to impractical information. Thank you. So um, probably everyone knows more or less what FOSDEM is, um, but for those who haven't been here and are lucky to be here today, I hope so, um, it's. Uh, the, the key part is that it's a conference which is organized by the community for the community. So there are definitely events where, you know, booths are shinier and whatever, but um, it's organized by volunteers and only by volunteers. We don't get paid for doing this, and um, which is really important. It, it works especially because of the community. So it's not just us, it's also the many people who come here, of course and the people who organize the developer rooms and stuff like this. So it's really the community event, we think so. Um, we, broke, uh, we broke our record again in terms of uh, numbers of speakers and numbers of talks again. So last year we had 214 talks and we have roughly 230 this year. Uh, it, okay, the complaint we hear most is that we have so much uh, talks to see at the same time all the time. But, um, that's a complaint we can live with, I guess. So I think everyone should have uh, four or five interesting talks on your focus uh, at any times. So that's better than being bored, I guess. Um, right, and the number of speakers, around 270, that's a new record as well, if we count the developer rooms, and that's quite, quite a lot indeed. So to give you an overview of the different activities we host at FOSDEM, uh, first of all we have the main tracks and um, the keynotes, which we are going to enjoy in a minute, as soon as we are finished with, this, with the boring part now. Um, with the uh, main tracks we pick um, six topics and we invite three speakers for, for each uh, topic. And this year it's going to be programming languages, games, build systems, virtualization, web, and packaging. Um, those talks are distributed um, across uh, this afternoon and tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. In w this room and Shavan, which is a room in another building, but we're going to have a look, quick look at the map in a second. Um, other activities are developer rooms. Uh, we've got 15 of them. Um, for developer rooms, we provide resources to open source, free and open source projects who request them. Unfortunately, we have to pick because we get a lot more demands than we have rooms. Oh, it's hard to say no, but we have to, I guess. And um, uh, the projects themselves organize the, the schedule inside the rooms themselves, so we are not responsible for that. And they do the hard work on the dev rooms, actually. 
a lot of interesting talks happening there. There are developer rooms both in the H building a lot and also a lot in the AW building. So make sure to have a look over there as well. Um, stands are present in the H and the AW as well. Uh, what's really important about stands is uh, the people are there for you to talk with them. So don't, don't be shy if you see an interesting project or someone you'd like to talk to or about contributing, about saying what nice project it is or do some bashing or whatever. Um, just take the occasion and go meet them. They are sitting there because of that. Uh, lightning talks are in the room that is uh, near the info desk and the H. And uh, those are quick 15 minute talks where we'd like to give some presence to projects who don't have enough time or resources to organize a whole dev room so they can introduce you to their project. It's a rather appreciated um, part of the event as well. Um, on Sunday, we have a key signing party for um, PGP and CSRT, which takes place at from 12 to 2 o'clock in the room near the info desk. And finally, there are exams for LPI and BSDA. You take part in two rooms, two specific rooms, this afternoon, tomorrow morning, and Sunday morning. We'll have, uh, you can see the schedule, which is hanging everywhere, or is going to be hanging everywhere in about, in a few minutes, um, to have the schedule of the, of the um, exam sessions. If you haven't registered online before, it doesn't matter. If you still want to do it, you can uh, go there and be present, uh, uh, register in the half hour between each session. So you can go there, have your ID with you, and you can register um, on site. So a quick look at the map. We are in the J building right now. Um, this room is Jorson, uh, which is the largest of our conference rooms. It's 1,400 seats. Um, this is going to host uh, the keynotes, going to happen in a few minutes, and the, um, some of the main track talks. The other half of the main track talks are going to be held in Chavan, Chavan being in the U building at the top. And um, the U building also hosts the LPI and BSDA exams. Now, uh, the H building hosts uh, dev rooms and stands and the main info desk. And the AW, which is the red brick building on the corner, um, don't, miss, don't miss it because there are a lot of developer rooms and a lot of stands happening over there as well. And I'm going to hand over to Christoph for the next boring part. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the boring part, like Pascal says, uh, is something that keeps FOSM alive. Um, thanks to all the donations of many visitors, um, we can continue the non-commercial parts of FOSDEM. Uh, we heard that a lot of people like this way. Uh, we are here to talk about technical things and not about commercial things. Um, when you give a donation, you can get some uh, returns. Uh, for a donation of 25 euros, by example, you get a free t-shirt. Um, for other amounts, you get uh, even chances to win Nokia uh, N810 tablets, Sun workstations, magazine subscriptions, etc. So don't hesitate, donations are um, uh, done at the info desk in the H building. Um, we also have some sponsors. Um, we have the three main sponsors. Um, that's O'Reilly, Novel, and Sun. And then we have uh, smaller sponsors that also support us very much. Um, sponsors don't only give us money, but they also support us by paying travels of speakers, paying hotels of speakers, giving other logical and um, practical things. So we would also like to thank them. Some practical information for you. Um, the info desk, that's the place for all questions. Uh, you can get a little booklet with the schedule, etc. Um, for those with a computer, we have a, we should have a working wireless network and cabled network in some rooms. Um, the SSIDs should start with FOSDEM. Um, 
in some hacker rooms there's also a wired. Um, concerning foods, uh, in the back of the chanson there is a bar when you can get some cold foods and breakfasts. Breakfast this morning and breakfast on Sunday. Um, outside we will, you will be able to have a hot food like uh, french fries, uh, um, hamburgers, etc. Um, Um, if you get bottles at the bar, please bring them back. It's really um, annoying for the staff to take them by yourself everywhere. And it also helps the nature. Um, we also have, as usual, blind visitors. If you see them lost, don't hesitate to help them. Um, in the information brochure, there is, there is also a um, feedback form. Thanks to that feedback form, we can make the conference better. So don't hesitate to fill it in and bring it around the info desk. Um, it should also come online in a few hours. So for uh, digital people, you can do it online. Um, before we start the first real talk, we have something special that every visitor should know. That is the Fuzzem dance, of course. Well, I wanted to, to thank people who are organizing for them now. I completely left the organization and uh, I trust the, orga the organization, the team completely and it's a big pleasure to be here as a, as a visitor and even get the opportunity to, get to do the first dance, so it's really great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 